that you use to track the movement of of uh, the people. I, I I have as I have seen a lot of the demos prefer to track girls, and they are just attached to the body, and they send a lot of information by a wire, and then you get uh, you get it delivered by Wi-Fi to a computer. So, this is the the original software from Xsense. It receives all the data from from the suit, and you get to to trans transfer these to Maya and to other animation uh, software. It's mainly used in the industry, in, 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 the, in the cinema industry. For example, Iron Man uses this suit. Well, not the real Iron Man, but the, the real Iron Man in the movies. And, well, it's, it's used for animation, but we are now using it for interaction. It has a neighbors, so we can track, we, we can get out, uh, we can get the, the, data, the data out using a UDP stream. And it's kind of documented, uh, just uh, some, some some things that we can we can get out of it, and it's cool. So once you once you see it, once you see it in the booth, it's it's just cool. You 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 have seen many people have seen, oh that's so cool. Yeah, but the reaction is well, many many people just take some minutes to to make fun of the model. Some other people just stare at the model, the 3D model, I mean. But about 10 minutes later, the wow factor just fades out, and you say, okay, what can I really do with this suit? Further, more, mm, further than just seeing the model or saving the data for animation. So let, let's dive into the, into the documentation that's not really huge. It's, it's everything you need is here. The, the, the protocol is a UDP stream. It just sends out a header and a number of, pa of packets that you should, you should process. You just uh, dive into it. You, in, in the packet, every packet comes with a six bytes ID string. It's every time is M MXTP01, and then you get four bytes for a simple counter, and one byte for the datagram counter. A very inter interesting one is the, the item count. So you know how many of these packets are coming in. There are different types of packets you can get Quaternions, Euler, you can get uh, a virtual marker set, that the one what we're using, and several other ones. I don't know, I don't know, I, I haven't di di dived deep into, into the other types of, of markers. You get the time code that mainly used for, for movies, and the character, character ID, because you may have more than one uh, uh, people in several suits. Other, other, the other bytes are, are basically useless. And each of the data packets in the one that we're using, the type 03, the, the only one that I read the docs, it's basically a bunch of bytes where you get the ID and the X, Y, and Z coordinates in this uh, Y up right handed uh, coordinate system. So it's really straightforward to take out the coordinates and the ID of the suit so you can uh, read a lot of packages and get one of these packages for each point in the, in the simulation. So let's expose it. The basic setup is really easy. I don't know if, if I think everyone here is uh, familiar with this. Uh, we just exposed a Q-variant list of, for the markers. We open a UDP socket and basically consume the bytes that I just showed you. You consume it. And QtQuick will understand the Q-variant list as a model for a repeater, for example. And it will do some magic after we, we do it. This is just how how I uh, we open it in the in the constructor. We connect it to the signal in in line 14 to to, the, from, to process the packets. And so basically, we we set up uh, the the, the, packet, the process packets and we in a while in a while loop, we just consume it right there in the in where mark is in a circle. The header, how did we consume the header? As I told you, there are six, six bytes for the, um, for the string, that's right there. And then uh, the datagram count, and what's just marked there is the type of, well, it's the bundle type, the post optical that we're consuming in the, in the demo. And we just uh, process it with a, with a parse marker function that will create just uh, one class. This is how to how do, how do we the time the, the way we consume the markers is just just here. Basically, we we just chop it. 
we chop uh, bunches of four bytes and we 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 just cast them into into the the correct type that is a float okay once we have the model we export it with using the, the standard qml export register type and we get this nice repeater and demo capture uh, item and basically that that's it we get something on the screen really easy because the repeater consumes the the uh, the data points and the demo capture just uh, sends them in and we get the, the model on the screen. How many, how, uh, the time we spent working on this was less than two hours, including half an hour about staring at the model. So we get this, the demo you see in the booth. And you can do funny things just for the sake of it. You can pre-record the session. You can see the Robert, he's right there. <laughs> That's the face of him. And you can do a lot of funny things with this. Uh, this is just 2D. What, you, what you're seeing this is just the X and the Y coordinates. But uh, just there was just about yesterday and today talks about Q3D. And you can do a lot of interesting things here with Q3D. I, I just processed the, the marker set in optical marker set, but you can get the quaternions and you can fit all the data straight into Q3D and do m more interesting thing with this. We're, what we're doing now is to integrate this into a big multi-touch wall that we have, the eight meter multi-touch wall that is quite big. I don't know, I don't know the measure in, the, in imperial units, but it's quite big, trust me. Um, we're trying to do VR without glasses. We, we try to do immersive VR using this suit but you don't have to use the glasses. You, ha you just stand in front of this glass and this can be like the only thing that is between you and this immersive world. You can, you can do interaction. Those red things are the markers and we can do with Q3D a lot of interesting things. This is just a talk to, to get you interested into VR, into motion capture. We can share data from th for this. If you need to integrate some, something, we can share data. And of, of course, the, the, the code is very simple and we can put it on, on GitHub if someone is interested. Of course, the, the most difficult thing here to get is the suit. That's maybe 13 or $14,000, but hey, that's not so much. So this is the talk. Um, if anything, if somebody has any questions, I, I will be happy to answer them. But it's just uh, chopping bytes, uh, reading them, um, and it's mainly for fun right now. We are not in the next phase yet. We, we did this last, uh, last, last week. Uh, we tweeted about it. We, we make fun of our friend here, and that Scalated too high that we were invited to the to the to the booth at at cute company. So thank you for listening. I'm Ariella and I work at Edis. Questions for Ariel and his team. There, two questions there. This is more about the bodysuit itself. Uh -huh. um, so are the sensors right near the joints like they used to have in the previous mocap suits, or is it distributed throughout the body? No, the suit, the suit has in special places. Let me show you here. This is, this is exactly where the, where the, well, not exactly, in fact. They have some tolerances, but this is where they are put. Okay. The, the, the protocol reports more points because there, it has an internal model that reports more points, but they do the interpolation using this, this, only these sensors. Um, is there any, I saw you use a bunch of low-level serialization stuff. Is there any, any QT stuff that could do that even faster, uh, the serialization? The serialization? In and out of the network, you did like Indian stuff and low-level stuff. Uh, you mean for the chopping of the bytes? Yeah. Uh, I think I was uh, as, as cute as I, as, as I was able to. 
No, I'm saying, isn't there, is, should it, is there like one liner in QT to just serialize DCIs to binary or something? I don't think so. Not, not in Qt, but I think the function is less than 100 lines. I can. And no, I'm it, just, you know. Yeah, no. So if you have no more questions, you can call it a day for this session. Uh, thanks, Ariel, being Thank here you. and uh, showing us the usage of Qt Quick and the Qt 3D model that you did in your application. Uh, on behalf of Qt Company and all of us, I would like to hand over the... Okay, uh, now I have two of them. By Kevin Kelly, who was one of the featured speakers on day one, I believe. Thank, Thank you. you very much.